Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Speedier and today we're back with another game, except it's not Smurfin anymore. We're on the main account. As you can see, this is my main account. I literally do not have a rank right now because I have not played ranked on it in that long. But we're here. I'm laning with a brood. I asked for off lane, didn't get it. You know, it's always a great way to start, right? <laughs> Trying to get your lane, getting denied by someone lower ranked than you. It is what it is. Uh, to be fair, I don't have a rank, so... Maybe he's technically... It doesn't matter. Let's do it. Let's try to win this game. All right, but without further ado, if you guys are excited, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. But before we do, remember that we do actually run a website. Believe it or not, if you click the like button, you'll eventually get 50% off on the Game Leap website. Not right now, but if you click the link down below, you can actually go check out the website. We post content there every single day that's going to help you get to the next level. Literally, I make videos on so many different topics. I just started making an Invoker course, for instance. Before that, I did a support course. And you can check these videos out over on the Game Leap website. You're going to watch them and you're going to be like, wow, speed. I wish I knew from the beginning how great this service actually is. Not nah, just playing, but it actually is. So click the link down below. Go give it a shot and I'll see you guys there. I'm pretty confident in this game. I, I like my team. I think Lesh Brood is just, it's a cool combo in the early game to just take every single tower. I like our support duo. My biggest concern in this game is a frontliner. I really hope our Brood goes tank items such as, as Pipe and Greaves and things like that. Yeah, I'm being gush. By the way, I'm going a very stats heavy build here. Oh, this guy's really committing to this, huh? But, um... Yeah, I'm going stats heavy build, and our, our problem is, is a little bit of frontlining. We definitely have some some frontlining problems, but basically my job in this lane is just to hit people. I have a Blightstone. No, I'm against an Animage. It's not a low armor hero by any means, but I think it's still good. You just I just have to be very careful about this Gush, because Gush is just, it's actually a stupid amount of damage, so I do have to keep moving backwards and backwards. I will secure the Strange Creep, though. I could get Gushed here. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to say that was intentional, but you said, I did try to bounce it off the ground there, but all right. Big thing about this, this lane is nothing really happens. Like you don't do too much. You kind of just chill. I did not block the pole camp, which is a bit of a mistake. He's pinging me to get the range creep, which I will try to get. Nah, all right, I should, I should have went for it earlier, but it's a bit of a tough lane. It's definitely not a, not a good lane to start. Brood is really bad at level one, right? You just have webs, so. It's definitely not like the type of hero I'm going to dominate with. However, we'll do okay. Can I snipe this courier? This hero is so fast. 320 movement speed? I can probably get it. Oh, did he see me running for it? Oh, he saw me running for it. That's sad. Well, I don't want to get gushed and man up to this guy, so we're just going to run it away and go hit the anti-mage again. But I do want to try to give Brood soul XP whenever possible. However, I have no problem sapping level 2. That's that's not really a bad thing. In fact, it will do more, um, it will do more uh, good than harm. For me to secure the range creep so now we're just gonna start autoing after that i'm probably gonna go um probably gonna go wand honestly i might bushwhack this guy if he goes for this melee creep just good harass i don't think he'll die yeah just good harass might actually pick up a clarity here could go for the side pull he's probably going for the small camp pull right now which i probably should have blocked yeah all right well this is not necessarily good for my brood it's fine for me though <laughs> Whoops, I just stole my Brood CS. Hopefully it doesn't tilt out of the world now. All right, he's actually doing fine. This lane's going as about as you'd expect. So let's pick up the wand. Let's pick up a mango. Just want to have that, you know, that mana regen ready to go. I don't want to bushwhack this guy. I guess maybe he could have died. Honestly, I don't I don't know. I think it would have been close. Another thing is I probably should have bought a sentry. I think Tide's body blocking the camp, to be honest. I want to use this slow to hopefully slow this guy up. Very nice. Very, very nice. Brood hit her, her, hit her spike. We got the Orb of Venom on Brood. The Blightstone on me. Let's get this Deny. Get that Deny as well. Well, didn't get the Deny, but it's fine. And Bushwhack him here, actually. Just going to force out the Blink. It, it, it's fine, you know? You don't have to, like, kill everyone every single time you try to go on them. A lot of people make this mistake where they'd overcommit and they'd dive. You know, just force out the Salve. It's totally fine. Brood gets gushed. Whatever. Just keep hitting this Animage. Don't want to get my mana burn though, so we will take a step back. Um, okay, I can't actually block this stack right now. Oh, where is Am going? 
I have nowhere. I think I am blo uh, blinked to. Actually, I don't really know. This guy's probably dead. He's definitely dead. Okay, I'm definitely dead. Hmm. Oh, okay, he's buying ring health. Honestly, I think that's okay. It gets, once again, my brood's having a really good start, which, you know, the big upside to this game is that once brood has, like, a decent start, she just completely kicks AM out of the jungle. And then I think if I work well with this Lesh, oh my, f oh my god, he's two levels below. Oh god. Did he get solo killed? He got solo killed twice! Oh my god. <laughs> what the? Alright, I should have bought a sentry to unblock large. I actually need to get a side pull off so bad. Yeah, this is really bad that I. Take a note from this game. I had needed to side pull so much earlier. It was a big grief that I didn't I didn't prioritize the side pull here I don't think at this point I want to but man this mid lane It's gonna hurt I'm gonna go get down a deep ward kind of feels like they have a ward here based off how these creeps are arguing looks like tide went for a pull uh, I'm gonna throw a ward here We didn't see that We will have to back off actually be an am kill here oof close it's still fine this legion rotating and not getting a kill is super massive for us because now brood I, I guess they're gonna try to do a lane swap at least that's what i would probably do if i was in their boots but okay it looks like they're gonna go for a try number two oh uh, lena's here all right let's just back out oh the acorn shot almost got him that's fine honestly a four-man rotation for brood is a huge win like this is okay i'm getting chased what the just gonna wand as late as possible, make her overcommit. Is she gonna chase me? Okay. Woo! My wind lace went into my backpack. I thought that, <laughs> I thought that was gonna be the reason why I died, but now I'm just gonna go. I mean, uh, do I go bottom? Oh no! What is this? Oh my god! What that? <laughs> Woo! All right. Well, I'm not even sure what the play is in this game. Uh, like I can't make plays with anybody. So generally, when you can't make plays with anybody, you just go sap. Um, you just go sap XP, so that's what I want to do. I'm just going to sap XP. I'm just going to use my Q on these uh, these creeps and just try to prevent them from taking the tower instantly. And move towards my level 6, because basically how I see this game now is I'm just going to have to make smoke plays with AA, and me and him can essentially just kill people whenever we want. Let's just check if this is warded. They're going to be rapping on A. Dude. I'll use my Q just for some casual damage, but can't actually overcommit. I do. This way, honestly, I think taking Scurry over the second point in Acre Shot is probably a little bit better. Also, there might be a word behind the tower. The reason why I say that it was it was definitely a bit of an aggressive dive from them. It kind of felt like they knew he was shipping back. Either way, honestly, my hero is actually really good at just bullying AM. Like, it sounds kind of weird, but I can just auto-attack him like this, and honestly, if it puts him in kill range to, like, a Leshrac, he has to be very careful. Now, I did see that the Tide was still here, so I do need to be careful. Okay, I was going to say, no way they make that play. All right, and we got six, so I do want to ship a smoke now. So remember, always smoke around your six timings. AA, AA when you're six, let's, uh, let's smoke gank. I don't know who, but probably like AM. Easy D ward. I could TB bottom. Do whatever you want. What does that mean? It's fine, man. We just have to farm. Yeah, I mean, it's a shit early game. You just have to play with me when you're six. It's fine, man. I, I know. It's a bad game. Yeah, same. Just get your ulti and kill people with me. What is this? Thank God! 
God bless America for my broken hero. All right. Let's smoke. I'm going to take out a smoke. I don't have ulti, but we can still kill AM. All right. Hopefully, we can synergize some plays here. If so, we might have a chance. We can kill him on the small camp. One second. He's just barely out of my W range. I don't want to go for QW. I think he'll just avoid it. In the sense that this is up, but honestly, we can go for it anyway. Let's go. Nice. That's big. All right, that's a good kill. That's a really good kill. Do I go mana boots? I feel like I just need to go mana boots and keep making plays on the map. Woo! I was so nervous that that that, that wouldn't work because I feel like if we can't string a couple plays together, the game's gonna get really awkward. All right, let's go for the Aether Lens. Definitely gonna go mana boots. I just need I just need to be able to make plays. Honestly, partially, I feel like I should just go back to base. I'm gonna go back to base. I get the mana boots slightly later, but it's fine. And yeah, our broods are- we're chilling, we're chilling. Brood's getting her items. It's a decent brood game at best. It's not a great brood game, to be honest. They have like Tide and, and Legion, but- Ooh! Ooh! Luna, 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 Luna! Ooh, Luna's not paying any attention. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, it happens, happens. All right, we're definitely taking Scurry here. Oh, the A Blast? Oh, he almost got her. We're coming, we're coming. Never mind. <laughs> Dude, it's like they want to lose. Oh. What the heck? What the? I don't know what I do. Okay. Stop! You freaking fool! Just try to win! Brood's dead. I don't know to what. I think she got ravaged. Alright, whatever. It does not matter. I have to basically stabilize my team to the best of my ability, which is very hard. It's basically, like, there's honestly almost nothing you can do to get them back on a good mentality, at least as far as I'm concerned. The best thing you can do is make good plays. And so when you're behind, the best thing, in my opinion, is to think about who you can play with. And make plays. I've obviously come to the recognition that that's generally going to be um, AA this game. It's fine, Lesh. Brood is okay too. It's just like the most deceptive plays that can be made on the map are with me and AA because if, you know, Lesh is showing and, and Brood is showing, they were going to feel safe. Yeah, for sure. Let's go. And then like plays like this, exactly. You know, we go make a play. Well, let's kill leader. Why did my ulti go off? Alright, we definitely didn't need it, but. It's fine. It's like a 45 second cooldown. The spell's nuts. Literally 45 second cooldown. That was good. Another big kill. Good kill for the Lesh. Like, how I call that? What I like to call that? That's a mentality kill. Like, it really is. It, like, boosts your team up a little bit, right? Especially this Lesh track who has, you know, some mental stability issues. Okay, good. Nice ancient stack. I'm gonna sit behind Lesh temporarily. You maybe go for a kill top. Oh, you see this Lena? See Lena? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe just with, with Ice Blast. Okay, I'm going. I think they might see me though. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I'll play on this ward for sure. I actually let my ulti go there a little bit early just to guarantee that the Lesh get the, gets the kill once again. He's trying to just trying to make these people not you know, want to end their lives. <laughs> this, is the, this is the goal. Just keep keep the team mentally in the game with a couple of good plays, right? A couple of good movements. Just looking for gaps. Playing around wards. So, like, here, there's no really good ward to play around. Kind of need to wait for another smoke. We can just go walk bottom it uh, and play around the brood. Like, we can just sit on a hill. All right, let's go. No, no, mid is suicide. Mid's not good. Mid's not good for mid. I don't have AA Blast now, which makes this pretty mad. Because this is almost 100% worded somewhere. Obviously, I don't know where we're. Kill him. Never mind. Oh, nice. Alright. 
Let's just make sure we get this tower. They're gonna fight us, I think. Well, I tried to ult early so he couldn't do that, but I guess it didn't matter. He wasted rabbit. Oh, oh my god! We they dueled an illusion. Kill them, kill them, kill them. This is huge. Kill him. Oh, I missed. Gotta back up here. Just make sure I don't feed. We kill the Selena. Oh, I'm just missing all my spells right now. Okay, I died to neutral creep. All right, okay, I missed many stuns that fight. Oh, God. Still great. Great result. Overall, still 10 out of 10. By the way, I feel like the Sodwing is going to die in three seconds. But overall, absolutely fantastic. Force rotations, force ravage. Lena's dead. This is great. Hopefully my brood doesn't die here. I think she's fine. Why didn't she cast Orchid or anything? All right. I think Hoodwing's dead. Yeah, Hoodwing's dead. Hoodwing's not dead. Okay. Hoodwing's dead. I think after this item, I'm just going to buy four staff. Just kite people. It's a decent Solar Crest game as well. I like Solar Crest with Luna. I, I could go that. It's actually really good, but um, I also just like the idea because they have a lot of chain stun. So I like four staffs against chain stun, right? Like if my Luna gets gone on by Dark Willow, I can just kind of get her out, which is pretty huge. Uh, I'm going to go four staff. I just think it's so value, especially with the Aether Lens. Aether Lens kind of makes up for the bad cast range that four staff has. God, like see, this is why this guy needs to be. Yeah, blast, 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 blast. Oh no, all right, get out of this way. Ugh, that's why he needs to be with me, but I just give up our ward. Oh, that guy's dead. What is this guy doing? I'm gonna go cut the mid wave real quick. Just want to keep our waves in. It's also just important to cut these waves every so often, just for your own gold sake, right? It's a lot of XP, a lot of gold. AMSTPing, AMSTPing. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm coming. We can maybe kill uh, Lena. What is this Lena doing? What is she doing? The whole game, she's just playing so weird. Maybe AM will blink. AM's gonna go mid. Can we kill him? On mid wave? AM didn't go mid. He must see me or something. How, do you, how does he not go mid there? So I'm probably supposed to take a hardwood tree. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like a mega high level this game, which is really nice. I'm gonna hit this tower. I have a blightstone. It's like generally bad. Uh, they have a legion duel. I don't want to feed. Oh, let's just okay. All him. <laughs> All you lesh. Buddha. <laughs> I don't know what that guy's. Free kill. Dude, what is happening? <laughs> How are these people so bad? <laughs> right, they see us, I think. It really feels like they see us. Like that guy, I mean, maybe he's just smart. You know, he, he's, he knew, he know, he, like, he knows we're mid, so it does make some sense that, that he would do that. Just kind of messing with this guy, just scaring them a little bit. Part of me wants to run at this AM. I don't think AM will be some massive problem this game, but he can get annoying when he gets Scotty. That's kind of his timing. I'm probably gonna buy Glimmer after this four staff and just try to kite AM in the fights. See this guy? Free kill. Luna died top. We killed him top. Alright, this works. Wonderful. Legion's TP, Legion's TP. Okay. Spanix talent. Scurry camouflage. Should I take that? Doesn't even seem that good. Oh, I should have done that so much faster. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can smoke. Come on, you're up. See the Selena? See the Selena? Careful, careful, careful. Oh, what are you, where are you going? I don't know why my bro just like committed suicide there, but I guess that worked out okay. Great. Hopefully my Lesh doesn't get solo killed. Okay. I probably didn't have to die there. I also got caught out a little bit for sure. I went a little bit too far there. Definitely, definitely overextended my, uh, overextended my welcome, but not terrible. Once again, I'm still going to stick to the glimmer. I just want to be able to kite people when they get gone on. I think maybe solar is actually better just because the enemy team is primarily physical. Their three cores do majority physical. Coming bottom, let's, let's kill this guy. Woo! Man, I'm, my voice is just cracking like crazy, I swear. I'm 22. And my voice still cracks 24-7. I don't know what happened. What am I doing wrong? I'm not playing Dota wrong, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Epic. I don't think we're cashing this guy. Get this outpost, get the XP going. My Luna is very, very farmed. Hopefully she buys the Satanic next. Maybe Roche? We should play around we should play around top now. They have too much Roche control. I almost want to buy bots to deal with all the split pushing. Just like shove waves. I actually think it's decent. If we don't have like wave shove problems with our heroes, I just feel like my teammates aren't doing it. Like top is not getting shoved, which kind of makes sense. Should be enough. No. Okay, good kill. I need to just. No. I'm gonna go try to force staff this guy. That is not good. This Legion... Usually Legions, I feel like, just have bad games. This Legion is not having a bad game. She's really farmed. Yeah, maybe I do have to buy an Ant Disc. At least it feels like I have to buy an Ant Disc. Smoke up on... Yeah, we need to smoke like this. Get a kill, and then rush. It's on Courier's Wait. Oh, we have one. We have to go with Luna. Okay. Oh, whatever. Luna, can you try to farm top? Like, cut this and cut this. Try to provide. I don't think I should even bother try to providing vision here. I think if I just get picked, I'm gonna die. Careful, it's pretty hard for us to save you. Don't have four stuff. We have a brood, which does not make this any easier. We kind of have uh, legion steeping brood, legion steeping bottom, legion steeping bottom. Oh my god, this guy's awareness is just negative. My awareness is negative. Psych. Okay, Lena's awareness is even worse. <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> Let's hit Roche. Let's hit Roche. Our AA has no mana. It's not good. Alright, let's kill the Legion right here. Guys, either hit Roche or, or get on this hill. Alright, I guess Lush needs to kill. Okay, the four staffs are paying off. You just fight this brood. Just come here.
I forgot I have this this GG tree. It's really good. All right, we just got Roche like that. How do they not contest? That's insane. Okay, that's massive for us. Luna Aegis is huge. I really don't like that she's buying Daedalus, but whatever. I don't know how she doesn't go pike this game. I feel like you're just going to get kited by Lina. Okay, so we're showing in the mid wave. They did have a war here earlier. I think Brood killed it. Good. Let's kill this guy. They have a ward somewhere. Where's their ward? I'm gonna go mid. Dude, Les should have. You get, see how Les should be bottom there? He should have TP top because Luna, Luna's bottom, our brood's dead. Like, there's no reason for him to go to go bottom. He's just cutting Luna's farm. Like, he's just hard griefing Luna when we can't make any plays. Like, if we can't make plays, he should just push the dead lane. You can see why Hoodwing is so good at split pushing. Like, he just missed me. <laughs> I don't know how he missed me twice in a row. It wouldn't have mattered. He can't actually kill me. Only if he has Abyssal do I have to fear him, which he doesn't. So I don't have to fear him. I'm going to cut one more wave. Yeah, this, brood is, this brood has been worthless, to be honest. Oh, how did I get none of those CS? Let's fight them bottom. Don't need to buy back. tell what's happening i think luna has aegis in which case we just have to kite for this luna aegis i'm just gonna stay in these trees invis here oh. oh my god i'm gonna kill myself <laughs> not actually i'm saying in game i'm gonna kill myself Oof, okay, that was a weird fight. I don't even know what to think about that fight. Don't really know what happened. Also, don't want to take the tome. I think I'm going to buy the bots. I'm going to buy bots and Aeon Disc. Hopefully my AA does not give up. AA is really on the verge. Dude. This, guy is, this guy is close to done. Hopefully he will not give up. This game is super, super winnable. This game is super winnable. We just need to, we need to smoke. Once our lanes are in top, we can smoke. I know you're tilted. Yes, Brown's worthless. Yes, we know. Just go. Send out the decoy. Just try to get them to go on it here. We shall duel it. I actually like this decoy a lot. The shard seems pretty good. We don't have a. Let's just chill. Seems like it's not working. Okay, my Luna won the duel. Yeah! <laughs> well played, well played. All right, all right. I don't know. I honestly, guys, I have no clue what's happening in this game. This game is just straight up whack. I'm going to take the charge time here. Definitely going to go Aeon this next. Yules is good too, so I'll probably go Aeon into Yules. Just being able to, like, kite out. It's pretty hard for me, to, seemingly hard for me to do anything in these fights. Like, they want to set up re-kill. Let me just push it in. This decoy seems really good. It's a 60 second cooldown, but... It, it can also latch a one second duration, which is, a, it's a, you know, it's a decent sized stun, really. So basically the enemy team has to play around this AM MKB. Otherwise it seems very hard for them to kill Luna. So we just need to protect Luna. When everyone's up, can we smoke? I think as good as this tree is, I should probably take a different item. Maybe Grove Bow? I don't know. All right, Brutal must have AC, which is good. They might smoke, we need to be careful. I'm gonna TP mid. Can we smoke? It's five. Go we'll fight the mid. Kill this guy. This is good. We can force Legion's TP easily here. I mean BKB. Or not. This 
This is horrendous. What am I doing? I'm so far out of position. What in the... Oh, I'm so far out of position, it's insane. Oh? Okay, that's good. Careful, you're alone, you're alone. Hopefully Brew just doesn't get solo killed by M. He should be fine. There's no way. Yeah, he's fine. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. We did buy back on A. Thankfully, Lina died. Luna's clutching up. Luna's trying her best to solo carry this game, which, you know, you love to see it. I was wildly out of position. I looked down at the... It was really funny, like, right as I was about to die, I looked at the map, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so dead. And that's the thing, like, that's a big thing about gaining a Mamar. It, it's, you know, it's really easy to have hindsight, but it's about being able to foresee, like, when you're gonna die. Like, be able to say, okay, I'm we're getting surrounded, I need to back up now. Because I definitely could have gone out of that. Oh, this guy's actually really farmed. Uh-oh. Oh, he's done. Man, this, this game is so easy if we just have a stun. You know, it, it's not to say that Brood isn't good this game. Like, Brood's fine. It's just, we picked so many wave shove heroes. This is a crazy play. I love this. Flicker, that's a good item. Probably use that. Oh, no, she, she's using spider legs. It's pretty reasonable. Because basically on carry, you carry spider legs when you get late game. And you need the, you need an item. An item slot. That is. So I'm going to TP top here. My brood's dead. I'll just try to get up some farm. My level 25 is okay. It's the pierce immunity, which is pretty solid. Like, just being able to do, like, a thousand damage to this AM is pretty freaking value. But yeah, I definitely feel like my neutral item needs to be upgraded. Okay, that will be the item. It's definitely up. We need to play top. GG. <laughs> GG. So how I want these fights to start is I want to send in my illusion and bait out some sort of stun. I think that's going to be the key. I, I actually think this this is probably my best spell at this point in the game. <laughs> like, I sort of mean that. I, I really feel like there's so much value. Because they're not going to think about it, right? They're not going to remember, like, oh, this guy's a shard that makes an illusion. So, we can run up here. Oh, I, I should have prioritized the bushwhack there. I didn't. I easily could have bushwhacked the Legion. That should have been a kill. I always forget that I can cast my spells when ultying, which is a thing I need to just practice on the Zero. Poor staff here. There's so many brambles. I feel like I'm playing like Maze Runner right now. Alright. Oh god. Alright, let's just wait for AA. We need him. Let's go in the lanes. I need to really not die with this gem either. Okay, so I see most of them bottom, which doesn't mean Legion is not top. Honestly, if I'm Legion, I'm running top right now. No, we can team fight them. We just have to be as five. Like we can bait this brood or something. Like that. <laughs> bro, come on, bro. You already spent 40 minutes. Might as well not give up now. I don't like being here at all. My brood's dead. Oh my god. We know he sucks. We get it. We know, we know. If you don't play the game, we're gonna lose. Please play. Ugh, I don't know, man. It's just one of those games. It's just really hard. This brood 
is not doing anything. Just a really, really hard game. I mean, people are just giving up from the start. Sucks. I mean, I don't know. I think I did a lot of things that would that would win this game. Like if if my if my other lanes go a little bit better, like my mid got crushed this game, right? Mid got crushed. My offlaner wasn't really playing. My position five just completely gave up. No one was working together later on. And so like, I, I think it's okay. to. I'm not mad about losing that game. I actually think I did. I did a lot of things and hopefully you guys can see like a lot of the, the reasons why you might be like, oh, I'm, I'm supporting. I can't gain a more because of games like this. Like I, I sort of agree, but think about the fact that we almost won this game, right? Maybe if I hit a couple more bushwhacks, we actually would have won this game. Like for instance, that Legion kill, if we got that Legion kill, maybe it turns into a Lena kill, turns into an Aegis, whatever, right? And I'm, and I'm not trying to say like, oh, you know, d dismissing my teammates. They played like garbage, right? Obviously, my team, a lot of my teammates didn't do much. Except like, I think Luna played fine. But either way, it's just one of those games where as a support, you got to make plays to bring your team back into the game. The biggest plays I made were my level six timing. We got a lot of pickoffs. We picked off the the AM. We picked off the Legion. Made some good plays in the team fights. But definitely a lot of work to go in terms of my spell casting as a zero. Definitely a hero I'm going to keep on playing. I'm a huge fan of Hoodwing. And uh, nonetheless, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And I'm out. Peace. And that's all, but remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website, where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below, and I'm out. Peace.